Welcome to Bashua's Moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Yes, praise the Lord, brethren. We are back again on our program called the Pursuers Moment. And I'm your servant, Pastor Charles Chiaga. I'm standing here on this great site uh, dedicated to this cause of seeking after God. And uh, it is called Zion Pursuers Prayer Mountain. This is where I'm standing. The network of pursuers is based here and we encourage you to join this network. As I always tell you, it's not a church, but it's a parachurch movement and our goal is to mobilize God seekers. This is what we've been called to do for the last 23 years. Since God spoke to us in 2001, we have been walking this journey and God has done amazing, amazing things to the extent that now, wherever you are, even outside, of, uh, outside the country, you are able to listen to this message because of the amazing work God has done through this network. Any one of you can come here. You can come here, spend a week, spend a month, just come here and chill. There, you, we have all the facilities. We have accommodations. We have sanit uh, water. We have power. We have sanitation facilities. We have everything you, 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 you virtually need as a person who has gone to camp out. And nothing should happen on this site apart from this one cause of seeking after God. But you'll find nature at its best. You'll see the beauty of nature. You'll be amazed at the different sceneries on this entire piece of land that has been dedicated to this site. These are some of the, the prayer tables you can sit on and meditate upon the goodness of the Lord. There is an open heaven, an amazing open heaven on this site. Come and you'll hear God speak. Come, for sure, you'll hear God speak. I want us to continue with our teaching. We are looking at the creation story and we are trying to see where does God place man and uh, why should man draw closer to God. Uh, verses 22. Uh, and God blessed them saying, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the waters, uh, fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply in the, in the earth. So, after creating the birds and creating the the the, the, uh, the, the the beings in the waters, the fish and so on, he blessed them and told them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the waters, fill the earth. Then he said, let the earth, let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind, cattle, creeping things, the beasts of the earth, each according to their kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind, and God saw, and God saw that it was good. So now we see God creating all the animals that live in the jungle, all the beasts, the creeping things, everything you see on this, on this planet, Eh, was created by God. And this is the creation story. And I'm trying to paint, to, to lay the foundation for you to understand where is God's place in the life of humanity? Eh? Is it still contemporary? Is it still a meaningful message? With the advancement in science, in information, in technology, does God still have a place in the life of humanity? And I want to tell you, yes. And when we draw closer to God, we gain the real meaning to live. So we see God creating all the creation uh, upon the earth, and he saw it good. Everything God does is good. Then verses 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion on the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Now the, 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 the creation story is becoming interesting now. God began by creating this, the, the light and creating uh, the waters and creating the earth and also creating the, the fish, the birds and uh, the beasts and so on. Now he goes on to a unique creature. When he gets to this unique creature, when you hear the statement that he makes, he had never made such a statement in all the creation story we have seen for the days that he had been creating. He had never created a creature which says, let us create this one creature after our own kind. And that creature is you. That creature is me. 
and that is man. When God came to create man, he said, let us create, hmm? let us make man in our image. We are the only creature of all the creation God created. We are the only creature that is created in the image of God. And God said, let us create this creature after our own kind, according to our image, according to, the, to our likeness. Let them have dominion. This creature God finally created, he created it to have dominion on all the creation. Remember, God sits in the heavens and that is where everything is perfect. But down here, things went wrong and God came to reorganize and recreate the earth. And then he's giving a governor on this planet called earth. He's giving somebody to govern this planet. And this is the one called man. And that is you and me. And I want us to follow very closely so we understand our unique position in all this creation and what unique position we have in God. And that will paint a good picture as to why we need to draw closer to God. I welcome you on this site. Let us walk this journey of seeking after God. God bless you. Eyo yeba de pasiwas moment ngikutusedwa ke somalia pasiwas junior school eri sangibwa mu butambala kukubali ampiji gombe kati ulire nkize eriwo singo twa lumwa na okupasiwas junior school interviews za bwedeli esomero limiride ku musinjo gutya katonda atengo omwana agunjulwa bakugu tutumbule bitone byenja ulu mu mwana tulina amazza mayunjo ku somero atengo omwana wasomera ne wiyebaka abanga mukungu india yaba yizi nunji byansoso anti emere tujirimira ngane famu yete weri ku somero tulina moto kezitambu za bana pasiwas junior school e butamba Tuso mesaba no kufamu baby class Okutuka kuchibine echo musambu Mudene bodingi Okumanyebi singa wo Zero musambu musambu bidi Ana muemu Chenda munana Ana Ne zero musambu zero bidi Asatu mukaga Ana muemu Nkaga munya Pasio was junior school butambala In pursuit of knowledge